Spot Dam. In this video, I'm gonna show you kind of like an easy hydration kind of hack that you can do in the morning. And it's, yeah, it's easy. What's going on guys and gals? Chris with the Bot Dam channel. This channel is all about food, fitness, and how to live an active, healthy lifestyle. Do me a favor, follow me on Instagram, at Bot Dam, and also get the free muscle building guide. It's the first link down below. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna get right to it. Um, it's a very easy kind of like morning hack that you can do. It only involves three things. And yeah, this supports good cardiovascular health, good cellular health, good muscular health, and it's really easy to do. And it doesn't taste that bad. So what is it? It's basically lemon water salt. Yeah, it's pretty simple. All right, so to do this, you're gonna need a tumbler of some sort. Basically, you wanna measure out 20 ounces of water. So if you have a measuring thing of water that does 20 ounces, that's cool. Most people out there have something that looks kind of like this, and this is typically 30 ounces, okay? So we wanna get about two thirds of this with water. That's the first step. Go over to here my little water pitcher. Get two thirds of that. Second thing you want is some sea salt. Himalayan pink sea salt is the way to go. So people say table salt, all that kind of stuff. This is probably the most pure, untouched by man uh, salt that you can buy right here. Now one of the things I like to do is, obviously this is in like rock form right here. So I wanna grind it uh, the day of, or maybe grind enough for like two days and then leave the rest in here. Now some people, uh, you know, go to Costco or wherever and they buy a Himalayan pink salt and it's already ground. Um, the way that I kind of view that is, you know, when you want exquisite coffee, for example, you grind the bean like on the spot, right? If you go to any amazing coffee shop, typically it's not just grounds sitting in a hopper, it's usually beans, right? So you kind of get the essence and you activate all the stuff in whatever it is by grinding it in the moment. Same thing with like an avocado, for example, right? Like an avocado is great and it, you know, it's, it's amazing when it's like this, but the second that you hack it open, it starts to tarnish and starts to brown. So I believe the same thing happens with coffee beans. Um, if you talk to like coffee farmers and stuff like that, they always say like it's best when you grind it however you grind the coffee bean and then consume the coffee afterwards, maybe in a French press or whatever, or a pour over. I subscribe to the same notion when it comes to sea salt. So I wanna grind enough for maybe like a day or two and that's about it. The question is how much do you grind? And uh, I'll take a uh, kind of like tip from my friend Paige and that is, you know, I put two days worth in a little saucer like this. So I ground this in here and you want a quarter teaspoon, right? So right there, quarter teaspoon, throw it in the water. And last, you need a lemon, right? But you don't want a whole lemon, you want a half lemon. So I'm cutting this lemon in half. There we go. And we're gonna squeeze that entire lemon into the cup, all right? So I'm gonna do it right here. Now you can get like lemon squeezer looking things. They kind of look like orange juice squeezers, but this should be enough. Plus, you can get some good hand strength by just squeezing lemons. There we go. So I'm gonna get all the juices into there. All right. And after that, we want to stir it up. All right, so here I have my coffee straw and I'm stirring it up. You might be thinking, why do you have a coffee straw? It's because I don't wanna stain my teeth. When I, I, I love consuming coffee, so uh, I sip my coffee through a straw. That way it throws it past the teeth and everything like that. I still get the benefits of coffee without the staining of the teeth, which is great. Um, so yeah, I'm stirring this up. Now, no matter how much stirring you really do, there will still be some salt particles on the bottom. And also when you squeeze the lemon, there's a really high chance that, you know, seeds and stuff will get there. And sometimes they go to the bottom, sometimes they hover at the top. So now it's time to consume the drink and I consume it with the straw because if I was to just drink it, I'd probably get a seed or two and I don't want that. So it tastes really good. Now it might take a little getting used to, but after a while it tastes amazing. So you get the point. I'm gonna drink this whole thing once the video is over. But it tastes great. So for what it's worth, you know, it's definitely worth trying out. So yeah, if you like to work out a bunch and you like to get out there and you like to be active and you like to sweat and all that kind of stuff, you know, try this out in the morning. And of course, you know, yeah, there's the hearsay that an average diet these days has enough sodium and everything for you to survive and be fine. But I like starting my day off with stuff like this. Plus, you know, puts your body in a little bit more alkaline kind of state. 
and it's very easy to do. Lemons at Costco are super cheap. Himalayan pink salt at Costco is super cheap. I mean, it's easy to do. Who doesn't want to attack their hydration first thing in the morning? I mean, gosh, seriously. So also one last thing is once you're done consuming the cocktail, like take a tiny bit of water, put it in your mouth, swish your mouth, spit it out, right? And that's just because, you know, the acidity in the lemon juice has been known to, you know, if it stays in your mouth for a long time, uh, that, you know, look, La Croix waters, uh, that's why how you say it, um, any kind of those like fizzling like sodas or anything like that like rots tooth enamel away. So you really want to make sure that you swish a little bit of water after you're done with this and then just like spit it out in the sink. All right, that's pretty much the video. If you enjoyed it and you got a good tip, then throw me a like, put a comment down below, and I'll see you on the next Bod Damn video. Take it easy. Goodbye.